I'm Rick Gerson, lead pastor at Shades Mountain Community Church. We're starting a vlog. It's basically a video blog, and we're going to try to come to you with everything from answering your questions to things that are on the various pastor's heart. And so I'm going to be the first one. I guess uh, it's my job to do that first. And I just thought I'd come to you and talk to you a little bit um, of what we want to talk about in this vlog that kind of builds on what we have, in our sense, a vision for the church. A lot of times when people think of a vision for an institution or an organization, they think of building something, like we're going to go over here, we're going to build a new building, or we're going to uh, reach this entire nation for whatever. And when I think of vision, I think of something a little bit different. I think of not building institutions or building structures, I think of building people. And I think the best way that we do that is to implant in our hearts and minds the realities of the Word of God that help us become better and stronger believers, and therefore we are better and stronger at reaching out to those who need Christ or those who need to be stronger in their walk with Christ. We have talked about over the last couple of years what some of those pillars or foundational things are. First one would be a high view of God. Proverbs 9 tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And really as we view God, as we understand who God is, we have a healthy respect and awe of God, we then begin to understand who God is. We learn about God through the Word of God, and we learn about God as defined by God Himself, not how we would define Him or what we'd imagine Him to be, but what He tells us He is. And we learn about he, who He is. He's the high, He's lifted up the great Creator God of heaven. He's the omnipotent one, he's the omniscient one, he's all those attributes in the fullest sense to the fullest infinity of who he is. And so first and foremost, we want to have the correct view of God. Well, that God, who is this incredible God of heaven, communicated to man and he did so through his word. So we also have a proper understanding of the authority of scripture. The authority of scripture brings us a great understanding of what we call sound doctrine. And so when we understand that the Word of God is full of authority, it is what it is, it's without error, it's written to us by God Himself to explain Himself to us, explain His Son to us, explain who we are as sinners and salvation through His Son, Jesus Christ, we then begin to understand through scriptures all of the doctrine, who God is, who Jesus is, who the Holy Spirit is, who angels are, is there a heaven, is there a hell, sanctification, most importantly salvation, that I'm a sinner, that I'm in need of salvation, all those things come. And if, if the Word of God is not the Word of God, then that's all in question. But because we have a high view of God, and because we have a, a great understanding of the authority of Scripture that God wrote to man, again, very foundational. And all of that is given to us so that we might have a right relationship with God. And that relationship with God we also call personal holiness. In other words, as I am reborn in my spiritual life, or born in my spiritual life, born again, salvation, I then begin to grow. I grow through the Word of God and my knowledge of who God is, but I also grow with respect to how I conduct myself during my stay or my pilgrimage here on this earth. And so our goal, our vision, is to help people, one, be introduced to God, help people understand Scripture, and help people grow. Out of that, out of that understanding, then comes our ability to reach our neighbor, to reach our workplace, to reach our nation, and to reach other nations for Him. And our vision grows out of, really, those three important pillars in our life. We're going to take this time on a weekly or often basis and each one of us on staff are going to do various things and talk about various topics that will help us with regard to that. Some of them will be simply things the church is doing. Some of them will be concepts about worshiping God. Some of them will be various um, topics that have to deal with what's going on currently in our day and age. And we're also going to do some times, we'll um, give you a, a website or a uh, email to send in questions. And we want to also try to answer some of the questions that are coming to us. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. I hope it's a part of your life and I hope it equips you so that you might be a better child of God. Thank you.